Hi there. Welcome back. It's Inktober, day 9, 2020. This is Brenda Knoll, and I'm also working on social media Tober and video Tober, which is when I work on my video production skills. So today is day 9, and I'm using the pr prompt by Hello Shannon, her creepy cute October prompts, and the prompt for today is Owl. So I downloaded a photo from Pixabay of an owl that I thought was pretty cool. It was landing on a rock and I worked out a composition based on that photo utilizing my um, cell phone and Corel Painter Mobile. I like using Corel Painter Mobile because I can work out the composition and not have to worry about like erasing and paper and all that stuff. And once I got the composition worked out I can then print it onto a piece of paper and then I use a uh, graphite paper to transfer it onto my surface that I'm going to do the Inktober project on. It doesn't really matter because it's um, Inktober so I'm going I went over the whole design with ink so the graphite showing it's not a big deal. Then when I got that done I decided well you know what I just got these ink went intense for my birthday my husband got them along with all of the the big set of neo colors so I got all of the ink Derwent ink tents and all of the Karen Dash neo colors which I meant to get the museum aquarelles but I had sold some old art supplies so I had the money and I ended up getting the um all of the neo colors a big one and then i decided to pay for a year of skillshare and then i bought a new light for my video production so i didn't really have any money left for the karen dash museum aquarelles ah oh, bummer right but anyway i'm still having a lot of fun with the ink tents the derwent ink tents and i do have a um the Faber Castell Albert Durs, and those are pretty nice too. But I, I wanted to use the ink tents here, so I really didn't plan other than you know, it's owl. So I looked for a picture of an owl that I liked, worked out the composition on my cell phone using Corel Painter Mobile, then I printed that out and transferred it to my paper with graphite transfer paper. Then I went in with the ink tents, and I just thought, you know, I want to put the pink where. I don't know, I did orange eyes and then I started going from there and I like to put the pink where I thought it would be like the vulnerable parts of the owl. And what I love about the ink tents besides the vibrancy is I love when you lay down the pencil and it's just pencil looking and then when you hit it with water and it just really freaking comes to life and becomes so vibrant. So that's what I did and then I ended up deepening that pink color with um. I think it's called oh deep rose is the color it's pretty anyway it all came out really pretty and thank you so much for walking watching sorry as always please like subscribe follow etc 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 share all those things you do on the internet cost you nothing means a lot on the internet thank you so much bye see you tomorrow